Thank you. Uh, Jordan, obviously your, your, your fans weren't able to see you lift the Premier League trophy and some of them wouldn't have been able to travel to Madrid, although I know a lot did. But at Wembley, you, you can have so many tens of thousands of fans there. How much would it mean for you to actually lift the cup and get that, that instant response from them? Yeah, it would be an, another big moment for us as a team to get over the line and win a trophy this, this season um, and for the fans to be there, of course. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll make sure we'll give absolutely everything to be able to do that. We know it's not going to be easy. Um, as I said before, Chelsea are a fantastic side um, with world-class players. So it'll be a really tough game, but we'll give everything and hopefully at the end of the game, like you said, we can celebrate with our fans. Thank you. We've got to David Lynch, then to Richard Jolly. David? Uh, Jordan, when you reflect on sort of your journey with Liverpool, um, do, you know, do you th this has got to be probably the best squad you've, you've been part of since you've been at the club. Do you feel a sort of pressure maybe to, to capitalise on that? You know, you need to add more trophies and make the most of this moment, really, don't you? Uh, you've always, you always had pressure playing for Liverpool. Um, you know, ever since I've arrived at the club, the expectancy is, is huge. You know, you you should be challenging for trophies year in, year out. And that's that's the expectancy at Liverpool Football Club, really. Um, so that, that doesn't change. Um, yes, we've won one or two things over the past few years, but of course, you always want more. You always want to want the next one. You always want to improve as a team. And I feel, I feel as though we have done that and we are doing that. Um, but, yeah, you've got to get over the line in finals and you've got to win big, big trophies, have big moments. And hopefully there's another big moment for us on Sunday. Thanks, Sean. Uh, Richard Jolly, next, and then Chris Baskin. Uh, yeah, hi, Jordan. Just a question about Fabinho, um, if that's OK. Um, can you explain what it is that he does in that role that makes him so effective? And, and you've played in that position yourself. And is, is, is playing the, the number six for Liverpool maybe a bit harder because you've got your fullbacks going forward as well? I mean, what is it that you need to do to do well there? Um, I think Fabinho is outstanding in that role. Yeah, I think the biggest quality is defensively and how he reads the game. Um, how he sniffs danger and stops counter attacks, so it makes it easier for protection and, and it stops teams from counter attacking when you've got a lot of the ball and you're you're trying to find a to, to, to score a goal. So he's he's really good at that. But he's on the ball. He's very good as well. He keeps things moving, connects the the player from the back four to the forwards. Um, really well um, but he's yeah to be honest he's good at everything but I'd say the biggest quality is that sense of danger um, and being able to stop attacks stop stop and counter attacks thank you okay thank you Richard and then we'll finish in the room with Chris and the, uh, I've got two now but just something you said Ben Jordan you said that you've seen each other could you just elaborate on that because it's a big statement to make to say that you've improved from the side that the league and the Champions League. I agree with you, but could you just talk a little bit about how you think the team is improving? I just think if you look at the squad, you know, there's people missing out in the squad at the minute. That's not even getting on the bench with top quality players, um, and it makes it really hard for the for the manager to to make decisions. Um, people coming on from the bench to make a big impact in games to to make a difference. Um, which is um, which has been huge over the last few weeks, um, but overall, you know, just we've been together a long time. Um, a lot of the squad, anyway, we've added to that with new signings also. And I feel we're just I just feel as though we're in a really good moment. Um, obviously, all the tactical work and all the stuff we do on the grass as well. And the coaches have um, worked on different things over the past year or so as well. Um, and we've done that really well in games. And I think, yeah, as the season's gone on, we've got stronger and stronger. And um, and, and now we're getting to the business end of the season. I just hope we can continue that form, starting with Sunday, a huge game for us. Um, and if we do that, then we'll have a good chance of winning. And if you win a trophy this early on in the season, it can give you a, a big boost. And just the caliber of the two teams, you need two of the last three. World Cup champions to the last three Champions League winners. It could be a Champions League final in many ways, couldn't it? That's a level match, this is, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's two very, very good teams going at it. As you, as you've said, Chelsea have won a few trophies over the past year. 
Um, so they're in a very good moment. Um, and we, we know ourselves when you sort of win one trophy, they sort of all come. Uh, you just keep, sort of keep going, keep going. You've got momentum and you've t- you picked up one or two more along the way. And the scene to have done that, um, like I said, after, after the Champions League. Um, but it's our job to stop that on Sunday and um, and make sure we're the ones that are, are going home with the trophy and we'll give absolutely everything to, to be able to do that. 